Hey everyone, welcome to Friday Fruit Clips. This is episode number 28, my weekly series where I expose the false teachers and the false prophets. And I do that because, well, they're ridiculous. And I have to confess that this week, well, I've struggled a little bit with some burnout. And I think maybe I'm being attacked spiritually a little bit. So if you could, please remember me in your prayers. In fact, I wasn't going to do an episode at all this week. Uh, but after prayer, I decided that I would. I'm just going to do it a little bit differently. In lieu of what's happened with the events in Israel, I'm going to just point out some glaring hypocrisy, some inconsistencies, as I rant a little bit. I'm not going to so much play too many clips from the false prophets or the false teachers, but more so just point out some stuff. So it's, it's going to be a little bit different. We'll get back to uh, the regular format next week, so just bear with me. And uh, so, get ready. Here we go. Let's get this started. Now, we saw last week where Israel was attacked by Hamas. This was the biggest attack in the last 50 years, where many atrocities were committed. And actually, just they're just too horrific to even comprehend. But being that we are all followers of Jesus Christ and Bible readers, we understand the end times eschatology. So there's no denying that this is startling. And we know what the Bible says about Israel in the end times. But going back to this initial event, you know, the day and the attack, when I heard it that morning, I became very, very angry because it was a reality check and a slap in the face, as it were particularly when I look back at the pure silliness and the blasphemy of these social media pretender false prophets who have convinced the West of a false eschatology and a made up, let me put it like this, made up scenarios, cunningly devised false and unbiblical fables and fantasies. So let me say it like this, social media prophets are a scourge to anyone who is looking for truth in Jesus Christ. I got angrier for the damage that they're doing. So as we start, I'm going to let this out, and you may detect a little uh, more outrage than usual. But nevertheless, here we go. All right, so first up, we've got Troy Black. Now, Troy Black, I would call him the Doogie Hauser of false prophets. He's the Richie Cunningham of false prophets. Just your all-American boy. Is this an April Fool's joke? And and part of his shtick is look at his look at his face, right? He'll crinkle up his eyebrows and well, he connects with you because he's just so sincere, and you can really feel his compassion and his sympathy. You know, right before he outright blasphemes our living God and lies in the name of Jesus Christ. That's right. Now, Troy is a confirmed false prophet. It's not a debate. This man makes his living lying in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, the video you're looking at right here, well, you can see the title. God said, wait for October to share this. So here's a video he did for the month of October. And what's missing? Yeah, the worst attack on Israel in 50 years. That's missing. It's absent. It's non-existence. He didn't say anything about it. And are you surprised? Well, you shouldn't be. Troy, again, does this for a living. Let me show you something. We're on the videos tab at Troy's YouTube channel. And... One thing I'll point out to you is the way that he titles his videos. God told me, look at this, God told me what's about to happen to Elon Musk. God said, wait for October. God just showed me this. God showed me that. God spoke to me about Phil Robertson from Duck Dynasty. <laughs> Jeez. And so look at the numbers, just an incredible amount of numbers. This guy comes in at 400, look at this, 415,000 subscribers. He's even admitted uh, so much as telling you his prophecies aren't guaranteed to be right. But yet he has the audacity 
uh, to title his videos, God Said This. He doesn't say, I think God said this and that. He says, God says this. So this man is an incredible blasphemer. And again, pointing him out uh, simply for the fact that he did not, as, a, as an alleged prophet of God, he did not prophesy the worst attack on Israel in the last 50 years. And so just taking this opportunity to point this out, this man has reached 51 million people in his social media career. What do you think he's doing to the faith of Christians out there? That's right. He is destroying the faith of Christians with his false prophecies because many people walk away from Jesus Christ because of his actions. And that's why false prophets are so deadly. Let's move on. All right, so here we've got just an absolute blaspheming heretic, Liberty Turnipseed. You can see her channel, Spirit Move Ministry. And here is her October video, right? Prophetic word. The time has come. The time has come for what? For the attack on Israel? Nope. It was more something like, your breakthrough is coming. And she did this video on October 2nd. And so, I'm going to ask you the question, what do you think was missing from this word from God, this prophecy, for the month of October 2023? And yes, that's correct. The worst attack on Israel in the last 50 years, Liberty, sitting in her car, very comfortable, it was not there. That prophecy was just, I was going to say conspicuously missing. So no, there's nothing conspicuous about it. This woman is a false prophet. She makes her living lying in the name of Jesus Christ and shipwrecking faith. So just pointing this out, that's what we're doing. Not going to listen to anything she has to say because she's an absolute huckster and a scam artist. So let's just point the obvious out and move on. All right, so next up we've got Dr. Lynn Whitaker just amazing look can you see the title prophetic word for october this woman has a pretty good sub count 52,000 subscribers as she's giving her prophetic word for october and i'll i'll put this out as a trivia question what do you think wasn't in her prophetic word for october i don't know it's a real head scratcher huh Let's someone put the Jeopardy music up so we can figure out what's missing from Dr. Joe Lynn Whitaker's October prophecy video. And again, yes, it deserves that kind of mockery because it is ridiculous. What you'll hear, because I'm not going to play anything from her, is again, this is your month for. I'm, I'm actually shocked she's showing a verse here, but I suppose that's good. This is the month for your breakthrough. You know, you've struggled. It's all about you. God sees you. And now you're finally going to have that coming up, that promotion's coming. Yes, maybe a little wealth transfer is coming because, you know, it's all about you. And that's what Western Christianity prosperity slash prophecy is. It's all about you. It's all about what God can do for you, and the blessings of the Lord, so on and so forth. And they're just oblivious to actual biblical eschatology and what's going to unfold here in these end times. And again, what does this do to the listener? Well, when you make the gospel all about you, well, guess what's missing? The truth. And when you don't have the truth, and you don't have the actual word of God, your faith is shipwrecked. And you have no armor to stand when persecution comes, when the Antichrist, the beast system comes, you're going to be dead in the water. And it's because of people like this. You think she's a real doctor? I have my own opinion, but I guess it really doesn't matter. So in any case, social media prophets, unbelievable, absent of truth. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so next up, we've got someone named Diane Larkin. You can see her channel there, a watchman's journal. Uh, look at the title, Prophecy October Surprises. Ooh, that, that sounds really good. 
Now, I've never reviewed this woman before. I have listened to a couple of her videos and it was very difficult. Uh, so I can tell you assuredly that I will be doing more on her in the future. Right now, I'm not going to play any clips. And I guess, again, if you're seeing the pattern here, uh, the pattern for this episode is really this right here. You can also confirm their false prophets by what they don't say. And so, again, missing from this October surprises video, guess, guess, what do you think was missing? That's right. The worst attack on Israel in the last 50 years. Missing. So, there you go. Uh, this woman is a false prophet. And again, I'll be exposing more of her in the future. Um, I'd call her the Paula Dean of false prophets. Look at her. She looks... She looks very lovely. She looks very sweet. She looks like she could just, you know, bake just an awesome set of chocolate chip cookies. And so that part's all wonderful. It's the part that's not wonderful. You know, it's the blaspheming. It's the heresy. It's the lying in the name of Jesus Christ. That part I don't like. And so that's why we're exposing her. But overall, what she does is good feeling personal prophecy. It's all about you. It's all about you in the coming days of plenty. We're God's going to supernaturally supply you with wealth transfers and fortune and prosperity and blah, 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 blah. So this is what we're seeing here. And again, one of the most, I guess, disturbing aspects to this all, and it really hit home this week, again, seeing what happened in Israel. It's the social media prophets, the social media prophecy. It's all just become so casual. These are hobbies. These are hobbyists with hobbies. Let's get a psychic word, a psychic reading up, the daily reading, so my subs can click in and think that they're hearing from God. But in, in essence, what they're hearing are basically just daily readings, daily horoscopes, predictions. And, and, and the part that makes it terrible is they attribute it all to God. And it's just blasphemy. And what they're doing is, well, they're blaspheming God and shipwrecking the faith of millions and then sleeping like a baby at night. They've just degraded God. They've disarmed the power of God to their followers. And it's just horrendous. Now, she looks to be in her 70s. Uh, and that's, again, just terrible. This is not how you want to close down your life, uh, destroying faith internationally. Uh, but certainly avoid her because she does not tell the truth. And again, I want to emphasize the emphasize for this episode, these so-called prophets also look at what they miss. It's what they don't say that also confirms that they're false prophets. And that is the case with Diane here. So let's move on to the next one. So next up, we've got somebody named Sister Carrie Ann. And you can see... Her channel name, Sister Carrie Ann. She's got 116,000 subs. Now, I'm showing you this video. I want you to look at the title. Urgent, Trump life is in danger and Republicans and Democrats give Obama presidency of American. <laughs> so, uh, so anyway, look at this is from six years ago. This is from May of 2017. So I'm showing you because here, take a look. This is Sister Carrie Ann. Now, what happened over the course of six or seven years? Well, well, this is what happens, <laughs> right? You become more and more popular for your false prophecies, and then you upgrade, and so it's just kind of funny. And then you start to believe that you're somebody special, that you are maybe truly hearing from God, but you're not. This is called delusion. When you start to believe your own well, you know what I'm trying to say here, right? Now, I want to show you something funny. And by the way, you can go test this out for yourself. Here is Sister Carrie Ann's video for October. Now, this was put up two weeks ago, right? You can see right here. Here's the date. And you can see the title. A very, very special month for the wicked. And if you listen to it, she talks a lot about what's happening with Halloween. And that's all fine and stuff. But here we go. The million dollar question. Can you tell what was missing from her October prophecy video? Jeopardy music, anyone? 
Bueller, Bueller, that's right, she did not prophesy anything remotely close to the worst attack Israel suffered in the last 50 years. Missing. Now again, I ask you, these prophets that love to tell you, all of chapter 3, verse 7, Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret unto his servants, the prophets. So what can you conclude when they simply miss the prophecy? Well, you can clearly conclude that they're not prophets because God did not reveal it to them. But I want to show you something even more dastardly with all of these so-called social media prophets. Watch this. Here it is, we're back at our videos tab. Look at all the videos that she's done on Israel. In fact, seven of the last eight videos she's done, all on Israel. Why is that so odd? Well, they were all done after the attack. Not before, only after. And you'll see this with all the dastardly false prophets, Robin Bullock, Julie Green, Amanda Grace, Hank Kuhneman, Kent Christmas, Timothy Dixon. It's always reactionary prophecy. The attack happened. Now they all come out with new prophecy. Oh, the Lord just told me something about the attack. He didn't tell you about the attack, but he told you something after the attack. They're just terrible, terrible, horrible liars who make their livings lying in the name of Jesus Christ. And so this sister right here, by the way, if you look through some of her other videos, like this one right here, we are close to the zombie apocalypse. So here we go, Shades of Celestial. By the way, I'm fairly certain Celestial also did nothing uh, prophetic that could that we could show you uh, where she prophesied the uh, Hamas attack on Israel, the, the worst attack on Israel in the last 50 years. So. But there's just too many. I can't include them all. I'm just trying to get like seven or eight up here today. So Sister Carrie Ann, not a prophet, just a pretender, a social media pretender who casually blasphemes the name of our Most High God. Avoid her. Let's move on. Now next up, we've got, well, look who it is, Tomi Ariomi. Now Tomi is a confirmed false prophet. And just in case you didn't hear me, he is a confirmed false prophet. And Tommy is slick. He seems very convincing. He is very convincing. Well, because, you know, he's from the UK, you know. And when he talks, he gives off a sense of confidence to where you think, well, surely this man truly is hearing from God. And he will say things like, your faithfulness has been seen by the Lord. And he's bringing you into suddenlies where you will receive the blessings of the season and your fruits will be brought before God. So blah, blah, blah. And that's what he does. Very slick. Got to give him props. He is a hustler extraordinaire. But here is his October, I guess his October video, right? And this is done 12 days ago, right at the beginning of October. It says, October, October is a crucial month but why would he say that do you think no way did he do you think he got the worst attack on israel in the last 50 years think he got that prophesied well don't hold your breath he didn't he just like all the other fake social media prophets he missed it also which you can conclude if you're looking at the book of amos he did not hear from god Therefore, you know that he, again, is a false prophet. And I'm only stating the obvious. We're calling them all out, or at least as many as we can in this video, because they're frauds. So mark this man and avoid him. All right, so finally, we're going to wrap things up with uh, Julie Green, the absolute queen of the false prophets. Julie Green, Queen Studdenly. Studdenly. Here she is in Pennsylvania. She's performing at Timothy Dixon's Big Top Circus Tent. Look at her. She's in deep prophecy. And we're showing you Julie because, surprise, surprise, she also did not 
prophesy the worst attack on Israel in the last 50 years. She tried to play it off like she did. I made a video on it last week. I'm going to link it below if you want to watch that. And so why am I showing you here? Well, if you can get past the nifty Hillary Clinton pantsuit, I wanted to play a couple of seconds here so that you could just watch her performance as she absolutely deceives a tent full of gullible followers who I would ask you to pray for. But once in a while, you just got to stop and appreciate the acting skills. And my goodness, does she have it. So I'm just going to play like 20 seconds if you can stand it. Check it out. I am the God that restores. And no matter, the enemy has come against you with court, with court cases. Just watch to see what I do with them. Because I am the judge overall. What they've done against my David. Those court cases you see before you, they have risen, and now you'll see them fall. All right, so there you have it, folks. Julie Green, ladies and gentlemen performing at the Dixon Circus. Look at her. Look at her. She is deep in a trance. It's a prophetic trance, I'm assuming. Hands are out, putting on that performance, and they love it. People are looking at her. I mean, try to imagine in this time, people are looking at her going, oh, God is really speaking through her, and they really believe it. But this is all performance. And so she's a pretender. And, you know, I kind of find this funny, too, if you don't mind me ranting a little bit. Here's what you'll never see uh, when it comes to Julie Green, Amanda Grace, Hank Kuhneman, right? They get up on stage. Here's what you'll never see. You know what, folks? Uh, I got nothing. Sorry. Lord's not speaking today. I got nothing. You'll never hear that and you'll never see that. Do you know why? Because they're performers and they're narcissists. When they get up on that stage, oh, they want to hear that crowd cheer. So they're going to speak smooth things. They're going to tickle the ears. The crowd is going to cheer, and they're going to get their gratification. This is why they perform. It's all about them. You'll also never hear them prophesy anything bad. It's always good things, which I, I mean, really think about that. So it's really something to see. And it's funny how it works out like that. It's almost like it was fake, right? Yeah. So uh, it's almost like they're entertaining the mob, right? Exactly. That's exactly what's happening here. So get a last look at Julie, uh, false prophet. Uh, we'll, we'll see her in the future. But uh, good job, Julie. Let's move on. You know, I'm going to wind down this video here in just a second. And I do want to remind you that I will get back to my regular format by next week. But I want to ask you to keep Israel in prayer, to keep the Middle East in prayer. They all need Jesus Christ. They need the salvation of Jesus Christ. And as we see more and more atrocities, more and more war, more and more persecution, pray Pray, get before the Lord, read your Bible, share the gospel of Jesus Christ, and be ready for what is coming. Because the social media false prophets have destroyed the faith of many. And I know I say that a lot, but it's important to understand. And when you see like the events that are happening as of late in the world, it really puts things into perspective about what's really coming compared to the fantasy. Um, I guess just the fantasy that these social media prophets are painting for gullible and simple-minded people. But I do want to show you one more thing. Now, this is a page on Facebook for Warrior Alabama Anything Goes. It's run by Jennifer Pike. So we want to give Jennifer a shout out. She and many, many others there in Warrior are forced to endure a cult leader that goes by the name of Robin Bullock. 
aka Tombstone, aka Captain Scrunchy. And so while we give them a shout out, they often post things um, that kind of tell you what's going on as they communicate with each other, you know, goings on in Warrior, Alabama. But make no mistake, these people are suffering because of the Bullock family. And so certainly keep them in your prayers. But another thing they do is they post some pretty funny stuff sometimes too. And so I want to show you this one last thing, because I'll end this with comedy, because this is pure comedy. Somebody posted this. This is an actual uh, prophecy slash song by Robin Bullock. And for those that think that this man is a true prophet, this is not a comedy skit from Saturday Night Live. This was from a real sermon that this guy did. So I'm just going to let this play as I close this out. I, I want to thank you all again for your prayers, and then I will see you uh, next week when we get back to our regular format. So God bless you. Take it away, Robin. Oh, yeah. Can't you hear it? This is the time of the shake and the bake. This is the time of the shake and the bake. This is the time of the shake and bake. Mm. Come on. This is the time of the shake and bake. This is the time of the shake and bake. This is the time of the shake and bake. On the threshing floor. On the threshing floor. This is the time of the shake and bake. This is the time of the shake and bake. This is the time of the shake and bake. Where? Where? On the threshing floor. On the threshing floor. People go to whoring after idols. Spiritual adultery is in play. People go to whoring after idols. They have rose up to play. They play on the threshing floor. On the threshing floor. Shake and bake, shake and bake. On the threshing floor. On the threshing floor. 